接下来，我们很高兴能够邀请到 t y p h o n President and Court Mr. p r o b a r k e r 来为我们发表 NFC from Dream to Reality. Let's welcome Mr. p r o b a r k e r for today's speech. Bravo! 掌声欢迎欢迎 Mr. p r o b a r k e r 好，早上好，大家。Can all of you hear me? Yes. yes. How many of you are asleep? <laughs> Nobody. 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 Well, great presentation, uh, Aaron.、Um, you know, I am strategically placed before the break time, so I won't stand between you and your break. I'll be very quick.、Um, I founded Typhoon with two other people eight years ago, and we said. The ideal topic for this conversation is dream to reality. So, what was the dream? Eight years ago, we went to the world and said, "NFC will come to the mobile phones, and we are the guys that are going to build it." They all said, "You're idiots." Well, today we have proved to you outside that it is not only reality, but is beginning to scale in the world marketplace. The additional Um, argument for dream to reality for for Typhoon was six years ago. With the dream, we came to Taiwan to meet with a company called Abama. They were absolutely not sure what to do with us, whether to believe and invest in this product, or whether to wait and see. And I think they made a smart choice by believing and investing in the company. Today, I would like to take the time to thank Abamum and team and all of our partners in Taiwan and China, because without them and without that collaboration, Typhoon's dream would not become reality. A big hand to the Taiwanese and the Chinese people. Thank you. So, what do we do?、Um, all of you have seen outside、um, multiple phones. With a memory card inserted that takes that mobile phone to become an NFC device. We started eight years ago because we saw this marketplace that the mobile banking users by 2015 will be 500 million and growing, and the mobile wallet transactions will be close to a trillion. I think the world is beginning to show that traction. We also believed that. A cloud-based solution, and there are lots of cloud-based solutions in the marketplace today. A cloud-based solution has a significant amount of risk because all of the consumer identities are stored in one central place. <coughs> When we built Typhoon, we said identity should be distributed in each individual's hands, and therefore spread the risk across each individual rather than putting it in a cloud. So you can see the difference between market data that says the vulnerability on a cloud base is about 100 billion, but on a estimated hardware based on an individual's hands, it's close to 100,000. Significant factors lower、uh, in terms of value it brings to banks, to mobile operators, and therefore to end users. The challenge has been, and we saw this transformation happen early on. When books went to,、uh, whether it's internet, whether it's the tablet, whether forget the form factor, but the idea was brick and mortars went away when technology stepped in and provided a convenient solution to the consumer. We believe banks are at risk today. They are aware that they're at risk today because the mobile device has very powerful factors playing for it. It is extremely intelligent. It is always connected, and it's always on you. If financial institutions do not realize the power of this device and do something about it, then their evolution becomes a question mark. That evolution has become a question mark even today because people are saying, "Who is going to run the mobile business?、Uh, is it the mobile operator? Is it someone like a Google? Is it banks themselves, or is it going to be some independent operator?" Well, we didn't particularly care. We said, what we want to do is to present a technology platform that is scalable across all of these institutions. We're agnostic to device, 
We're agnostic to OS. We're agnostic to partner. We're agnostic to bank. We're agnostic to operator. And we're agnostic to geography. When we built this company, we said we need to build an open, secure technology for all institutions to use to leverage mobility for the consumer's value. And that's what we built. We built an NFC radio, a secure element, and all of the software that goes with it in order for an institution to deploy three things. Primarily, a consumer experience. All of the bank's needs today can be met using a Typhoon platform. If you want to do mobile banking, you can on any platform. If you want to do it in a cloud-based SaaS model, you can. If you want to do it in an enterprise model within a large institution, you can. If you want to replace your security token, your dongle, and use the phone secure element to do corporate banking, wealth management, and second factor authentication, you can. We do voice authentication as a second factor authentication. And then we do NFC radio. If you went across the globe today and you said, find me a platform that does all software, all security and ID management, and NFC in a hardware plus software fam factor, you will not find another company. We have also built, along with our technology, we've built a very significant patent portfolio. I'm proud to announce that Typhoon has 52 patent applications filed, out of which 16 have been issued, two in Taiwan. Um, all of them in the um, identity, software, and NFC space. We were one of the earliest in the business to file for patents in mobile NFC. Why is this so important? If you look, everybody talks about NFC but very few talk about the fundamental technology behind it, which is how do I identify a consumer and then allow that person to do transactions? NFC is a transactional vehicle. I didn't understand all of your presentation in Chinese, but you were absolutely right about the secure element. <laughs> the secure element is at the heart of NFC. If you don't do secure element right, if you don't secure, do secure element interoperable, if you don't secure element that can scale, then I believe NFC becomes a very short-lived solution. Because in the world today, there are 30 billion plus identities. Payment transactions are only 6 billion of those. So the notion of using the mobile device for all kinds of identity management, whether it's digital rights, healthcare, government security, and payment transactions is the way we designed our platform. You identify an individual, no matter what device they use, what network they access, what phone they use, and then allow them to do secure transactions. That's the fundamentals behind the Typhoon platform. So what are our inventions? Um, our inventions are <coughs> across the board. The first significant set of inventions are universal access to a smart card protocol via any interface. We also have very significant portfolio of patents of communications over the network for secure online transactions. What does that mean? If you go from a server to a device and from a device to an add-on secure element, that process of communicating to that secure element are inventions that Typhoon owns and has filed for. We also have miniaturized a NFC radio antenna. Um, our partners are in Taiwan. They have been very gracious partners. They're actually investors in Typhoon. Um, we reduced a typical NFC antenna on a plastic card by 400 times lower in order to meet the micro SD standard. We not only made it small, but we also made it three-dimensional. We are the only company that understands how to take a small form factor and make it work inside a mobile phone environment. We don't need a booster. We don't need an attachment. We don't need pins. We don't need back covers. We don't need anything. You insert a micro SD card into an Android, iPhone, Blackberry, Java device, and that device becomes NFC enabled. 
It's very powerful inventions. Um, we are also beginning to do other things. This is the first evolution of our micro SD hardware. It was a very, very difficult evolution. Aaron knows it. Phenomenally difficult endeavor. To be able to take a memory card, add firmware to a memory controller, add a smart card chip, add an enhancement, and add an antenna, and to make it as manufacturable as a micro SD card, and as much of a yield rate as a micro SD card is a phenomenal achievement. And thanks to Abamum, we have made a NFC micro SD card the same manufacturing yield rates as a micro SD card. So congratulations to you and your team. Um, really, it's a big achievement. We get requests on a daily basis from global customers and global partners wanting to license this technology now. Um, the second set of things that we're discussing on how to do is we are also of the belief that if you add one secure element in a memory card, why not add six secure elements? Um, I didn't understand Chinese, but when you took out the wallet, you're absolutely right. <laughs> the wallet does go inside a memory card. But the question becomes, is it one secure element or is it six? Right? You, you showed six or eight credit cards. We believe that both models should be possible. In some models where the government manages to build a TSM and deploy a single card solution with a single security protocol, it'll be one smart card chip with all cards stored in that one card. In some countries where it's a free market economy, where banks would like to manage their own identity, then there is no reason for us to be multiple secure element. Typhoon's manufacturing and invention capabilities go down to multiple secure elements on the same memory card. Not only that, but as of this past manufacturing run, we can use any secure element on that same manufacturing process. We have built testing processes. We have built pre-mold testing processes. We have built post-mold testing processes to make certain that the reliability, manufacturability, and yield are just as much as a standard memory card. Today, our capacities are 2, 4, 8, and 16 gigabytes. We're working towards 32 and beyond. So let's summarize. I'm, as I said, I'm standing between you and your brakes, so I'm going to keep it really quick. Um, we build all components. We are branded iCash. We're called iCash. We take all plastic cards, put it inside a micro SD device, which has 80% of phones and 99% of laptops, and we build a secure mobile wallet. What does a secure mobile wallet mean? Secure mobile wallet means we build a server component, uh, we build all the software components, we do OTA of all of the software components, whether it be applet loading, whether it be pre-personalization, personalization, top up, and all use cases. So we build the server side, we build the phone software, we build the APIs, we build the firmware logic, we build the smart cards, and we do manufacturing with our partners. Um, right after this, you'll meet one of our, uh, after the break, you'll meet one of our partners and, and in crime in Brazil. Um, they've come here to speak about a market in Brazil. It's a truly global opportunity. A company from the U.S. with op operations in Bangalore, working with a manufacturing outfit in Taiwan, and a partner in Brazil to, to provide an end user experience in Brazil. So you're going to meet Mr. Pedrosa here shortly. This is the guts of what we do. Um, all of the things I said. There is a card controller where we write Typhoon IP. There is a miniature antenna, which is a three-dimensional antenna where you can see the picture of. It is a self-contained micro SD. No boosters, no back covers, no pins, no attachments, no nothing. Today, we are capable of obtaining Visa, MasterCard, China Union Pay, which is PBOC, and any other certification requirements there are. We understand the load modulation requirements. We understand the read distances. We understand multiple devices. We understand all of it, and we've tested it. The question is, what do we do, and where do we go next? Um, as I mentioned already, we are high manufacturing yield, 
we're payment industry ready. We will probably go to NFC in read mode. Today we are in card mode, but we will go to read mode and we will go to multiple secure element in the next couple of quarters. Now, I'll be available outside um, to discuss any of this, but we are also beginning to do things in the ID management and the healthcare business. Because as I said, the memory card inside a mobile phone is primarily used to identify a consumer uniquely. Whether it is you're using your laptop, desktop, tablet, or phone, banking networks, as an example, are very confused about where people are coming from. Data in the US actually shows now that 70% of internet banking is being accessed through mobile devices. So they want to secure mobile device access, and they want hardware-driven security inside mobile phones to be able to drive security processes better. We have similar requests from the government and similar requests from the healthcare business. Um, this is a quick view of our platform today. It's called the Typhoon Mobility Manager, the Typhoon Mobile Platform. It has analytics built into it. It has mobile banking, mobile secure ID, and mobile wallet built into it. And our customers include credit unions, banks, merchants, loyalty companies. Uh, one of India's largest loyalty companies is a customer of Typhoon. And then we are beginning to do things in the secure ID services in all of these networks. It's a very difficult challenge for a young company. Um, just like we have partners here in the US, I'm very proud of my people globally. Um, Sam Wu, who's our VP of Manufacturing. Stand up, Sam. <laughs> Six years ago, when we started this dream, I met that man on the internet. We were looking for someone that will help make us a memory card. He used to be an employee at Abamum. He is now a vice president at Typhon. So thank you very much, Sam. <laughs> Um, we have 55 people um, in the U.S., in Taiwan, and in Bangalore, and we're proud to be here today, um, thanks to Aaron and team for setting this up. That is our management team, Dr. Siva, he's a PhD from MIT. MIT stands for Made in Taiwan. Uh, that's what we tell him. Um, that's Don Bloodworth, our CFO, Sam, and we have Todd. Todd came from First Data in the U.S., so we have a core team of executives. We have a very nice team globally, and we really thank all of you for coming here. I'm very impressed with the attendance and the, and the patience, and thank you very much, Aaron, for setting this up. <laughs> Last but not least, um, when we went to China to begin talking about Typhoon's capabilities, not only was the reception warm, they have been extremely patient. Mr. Chow, thank you very much for being patient. But they gave me a Chinese name. So when you come outside, you can call me Yang San Tai. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Yang San Tai. Thank you, Ms. Forbacher. Wow, fantastic presentation.